Hello, and thank you for watching another edition of Redbeard Shaves. As you're watching this, you might think, hmm, something's different about old Redbeard here. Just can't quite, oh, that's right. Because of all this COVID-19 business, the beard had to go for me to be able to fit into the N95 respirator masks. So for now, it's just a creeper mustache and a baby face that I will be shaving for you. And today's video is a tag video by Jeremy Tyler, the traveling shaver. And he tagged me in what would be if only one shave setup could be used for the rest of 2020, what would it be? So I think I'll go ahead and start with some of the hardware. My bowl that I made myself at a ceramic shop, put a little puff paint down here for extra agitation marks for the soap when I'm making my lather. I actually already use this bowl every single day, but it would continue to be my everyday shaver bowl. Brushes was a really hard one for me. I have a lot of brushes, I have a lot of different brush makers, but when I came down to if I could only use one brush the rest of the year in 2020, I think the one I would always be gravitating towards would be my Turn and Shave brush by Milton. And this has a 28 millimeter tip knot in it. And I'm absolutely in love with this brush. Not just the pour. I mean, the pour is fantastic. And it goes with any shave gear that I may post or advertise. But the knot, the knot is absolutely wonderful. I love the way that this is hooked, how soft it is, and it releases lather. One of the best knots that I have for releasing lather. So my turn and shave would be the brush that I would choose to use for the rest of 2020. Razor was super easy for me. Hands down, Rockwell success. I am in love with this razor. It's been pretty much my daily shaver while I have not been using or making videos. Um, I love the weight of it. I love the versatility if I can change the, the blade exposure and the blade gap by changing the plate. I typically run on plate five, which I will be doing today. And then the blade that I would choose for the rest of the year, it was another easy one for me, and that was a Pulse Silver Super Iridium. These are my number one blades. It's almost been exclusively what I've been shaving with recently. Absolutely love them. They're sharp. They have good smooth glide to them, and they're just very efficient, and my skin likes them, so I use them. Soap, on the other hand, was very hard because I'm thinking oh my goodness I have all these soaps I love so many of them it's even hard for me to come up with a top five or a top ten list of soaps um, so I started thinking okay what would I need well number one I would need something that I could use even when I work so I can't have anything that's too strongly scented um, or that could be annoying if somebody was to smell it because I work in a hospital. Some people are very, very sensitive to fragrances. But one that I use quite a bit when I work, and I absolutely love the smell of it any day of the week. My wife enjoys the smell of it, is Katie Bubbles' La Terre Verte. And I'm in love with this soap. It, it mimics the classic brute. It is a clean scent to my nose, but still very masculine. Um, oak moss, sandalwood, and patchouli. And I love this soap. So this is the soap that I would use every single day for the rest of 2020 if I had no other options. So I'm going to go ahead and get this lather going. First time I've actually made a lather on camera when I'm shaving as well. So I'm going to get this mixing up. Been very, very, very busy at work, as you would imagine, dealing with these COVID patients. We have so many in our hospital. We have an actual unit that is dedicated to COVID positive patients. And then we have a unit that is dedicated to COVID 
rule out patients. So they come up there as they're being ruled out. If they're positive, they go over to the COVID unit. If they're negative, they go down to one of the other units. So they will not be exposed to COVID. Lots of movement in that unit. I get on average on a night, we were getting 20 to 25 rule outs. I worked in the rule out COVID unit my last stretch. And during that time, we were getting those 20 admits. We might get test results back on 12 or 15 of them that would then force movement to another unit. So very hopping, a very, very, very busy unit. And it kept me very busy, but it was a good system, a good setup. So work has been keeping me incredibly busy. Personal life has been busy too. Who isn't busy, you know, when it comes down to it? Everybody's busy. Everybody has a lot going on. Um, and I did as well. That's why I haven't been making as many videos recently because I just had to prioritize what I was going to spend my time and energy on. Got a lot of things happening here around the farm. I'm going to go ahead and fill the sink up. I did not pre-fill that up. My apologies. Get this lather going here in the bowl. So, uh, what's been going on around the farm? Well, the donkeys are still a riot. Absolutely love those. Been raising nine chicks, a variety of chicks, and they've just gotten large enough. It's enough water. They've gotten large enough to move them out to the coop. So I have them out at the coop. And then just today, I got two Nigerian dwarfs, goats from my sister-in-law. So I got them all set up in one part of the pasture. They're going to be weed eaters for me. And I have a lot of good food for them to mow down. So pretty excited about them. And just do another odd and end work around the house. Looking pretty good right there. So, for the first time ever on Red Beard Shaves, I'm going to do a face shave for you guys today. And this was something that before I started making YouTube channel videos or uh, Facebook Lives, I had never shaved my face. I've had my beard or a goatee for the better part of 10 years, 12 years. Um... I had my full beard for eight full years before it came off. So it's been it's been fun to rediscover a new area to shave, a new canvas, so to say. I'm just using a little bit of the bloom slash soaking water for my pre-shave. I don't I have the cube, I have other pre-shave oils. And because most of the time I'm doing reviews of soap, I don't want those pre-shaves to hinder the results or make the results better than they should be. So I've gotten really used to just using the soaking slash bloom water for my shaves. And I don't typically go towards a pre-shave much anymore. So I just use that. Works out just fine for me. Katie's Bubbles is a very slick soap. It's a vegan base. Has a really good post shave feel. Do a little exfoliation here. As you can see, you can just see all that lather just start coming out to the tips. That's why I really enjoy this brush. And being a 28 millimeter, I like having a little extra landscape, to, especially when I'm dome shaving. Comes up with such a nice, rich, creamy lather.
All right. Rockwell, plate five, whole silver blade. First pass here. And I just love this blade and razor combo. I mean, I have found the pulse silver blades work in just about any razor I use. And then I've also found that the Rockwell 6S plays well with a lot of different blade combinations but I really enjoy the pull silver with the Rockwell still getting my skin used to being shaved especially around my neck I've actually been only doing two pass shaves for the most part. Kind of letting that skin get used to it. Got a couple of weepers already. Add a couple of pimples that I was finding right there. Probably just whacked them off. But a very comfortable shave nonetheless. All right, go ahead and get ready for another pass here. Absolutely love the smell of this soap. I would count it mm, probably mid strong off of the puck, maybe mid to mid strong. And then once you lather it up, it gives you a nice strong shot of what it's going to be like. These tips are so soft. Good cushion, excellent glide. I will of course leave the link on where you can find Katie's Bubbles on this video. I typically, if I'm buying from somewhere in the States and I know that they're, that Artisan has their own web page. I will order directly from them rather than ordering from West Coast Shaving or Maggards. Be able to put a little bit more of the money 
into their pocket. What's been going on with all of you guys? Are you some of the ones that are off of work right now and discovering what it's like to be in a quarantine? Or are you working? If you're working, what's some of the things that you're doing? Hopefully you're all staying nice and safe out there. Happy and healthy. It's been interesting um, going through this face shaving and figuring out my technique all over again. Okay. And I think today, just for both time and the way my skin's feeling, I'm just going to do a two-pass shave, so I'm going to go ahead and rinse off. And then partially because I'm getting used to shaving my face and having a little bit of agitation with it, redness, some ingrown hairs. What I would choose for my number one aftershave for 2020 would be Barbado. This stuff is liquid gold in a bottle. I absolutely love this lotion. It's considered a lotion and it's really been helping out with my redness or breakouts on my skin especially since I've been shaving my face it's got a lot of really good things in there I still need to do a review on this I have not done one yet so go ahead and rub some of this in it has a great burn if you're a burn freak. Push that off my hands. I will be doing a dome shave after this video. But it was really hard because I like to do the matching splashes with the soap. But when it came down to if I could only use one aftershave for the year, I wanted something that would be medicated and really help my skin. There's a lot of great anti-inflammatory properties within this. So that is my one shave of the year setup. I'm going to tag three people. I'm not going to tag YouTubers. I'm actually going to tag Facebook Livers. So Roland Robert the Fourth. You've been tagged. Wes Smith, consider yourself tagged, brother. 
and Lee Powell is the tagged. So they'll be doing these videos of their setup for the year of 2020 on Facebook Lives. All three of those guys are a part of many different groups on Facebook. Not quite sure yet which group they're going to choose to do their video on, but they have been tagged. So I hope you guys all enjoyed this video. Thanks for having me back. I know a little bit look a little bit different, but I'm going to mix up some face shaves with head shaves, kind of hit the whole spectrum of things in upcoming videos. I hope you guys are all staying happy and healthy. Remember to be kind to one another during this time. It's stressful on a lot of us. And I hope you're having wonderful shaves. On that note, Redbeard out. Thank you so much.